I'm working with this Isotherm 130 quart refrigerator, which is a great refrigerator. Except I've got some pretty tight areas I'm trying to work in. So, one thing you'll notice is the compressor on the back sticks out quite a bit further than the rest of the fridge. So I wanted to look and see if there's something I could do about that. Even if I could gain 3 eighths of an inch, it would make a difference. So I got to looking at it and noticed there are a couple screws on the back of this plate. And there's another screw right here. And if you remove those, the whole assembly can be moved a little bit. And there's enough flexibility and enough extra hose that moving it, there's enough latitude to move it a little bit. So I think quarter inch, half inch should be possible. So what I need to do is remove some material off the back here and straighten out this bend. Push it back a little bit. We'll see how it goes. The compressor unit sits on these four stanchions on the plate. So you pop these clips out and remove the plate from under the compressor. This isn't going to go anywhere because obviously it's hard plumbed into the evaporator unit. But I was able to confirm with this plate removed that I can move the unit in a little bit. The limiting factor is up here in the front where there's some wiring and I don't feel like I need to go to any more trouble. I wanted to gain a little bit of room and this is going to get me that little bit of room. So now it's time to modify the plate so the compressor can reside in this location. building a van, you need one of these. Right about now you're probably thinking, oh no he's not. This was a total hack by anybody's standards, but I was able to get another half an inch behind the compressor by remounting it, so I cut those little tabs a half inch shorter you can see that I moved that screw hole back half an inch. This is where it used to bend down 90 degrees and bolt to the back. So I flattened that out. And then here's where the hack comes in. I just cut a notch and used the existing screw holes on the back to attach some aluminum. And I was planning to drill out through both of these plates and screw them together, but after getting it together like this, it's not going anywhere, so I decided just to leave it as is. So this is what isotherm should have done from the factory. There's plenty of room to move it without any downsides. You can see that it still hangs off the back by a bit, but I got a little bit more clearance to help with ventilation. So. Not my best work, not the cleanest. You may want to do something else, but this was quick and easy and it's going to do the job. Okay.